Welcome back, I'm Sean, and the last time I've checked out a karaoke machine uh, was with the Edifier PK305, but it was a big serious kind of, you know, portable PA or karaoke machine. So today we have a fun, small and tiny version by Sal Pete, so let's check it out. So the high singing today was sent over to me by C Plus Malaysia for a review but this is not a sponsored post and my review will be based on my honest and unbiased opinion. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any future tech reviews. So the high singing here retails for a very tiny price of 28 US dollars or about 135 Malaysian ringgit which is great if you want a speaker that also doubles as a small karaoke machine that you can easily bring around to have fun with friends or kids. So if you're interested in buying one, do check out my links below. So design wise, there is no doubt that this speaker looks like a toy and from the looks of it, it doesn't look like a serious Bluetooth speaker but more like something kids or teenagers would bring around for karaoke sessions. Uh, the entire build here is a uh, plastic glass finish with a somewhat retro look to it and the front here the main piece here is the sound Pete's panda in the middle here uh, with random LED flashing inside not the coolest RGB work I've seen and also here you get three buttons here at the top uh, unlabeled so you need to make your best guess to it but the long button here is the multi-function button or the play pause button and the other two here are the volume button so this is the volume up and this is the volume down and the bottom of the speaker here is also a gloss black plastic grill that hides the speaker driver inside so you also get a strap here uh, which is made out of uh, some type of plastic and at the top here, you also get the Soundpeats branding there. And at the bottom of the speaker, you get two rubber feet so that uh, the unit will stay stable on your desk. And at the back of the speaker is also a passive radiator to somewhat improve low-end performance. And we'll talk a little bit about sound quality shortly. So at the top here, you're also going to get three different inputs, a Type-C port to charge the speaker up, a 3.5mm auxiliary port as a line-in input music to your speaker, and also a micro SD card slot for you to load music onto your speaker so you don't need to bring your phone along with you. And of course with the karaoke machine you're also going to get a microphone unit and the mic here is also made of lightweight plastic but at least it doesn't feel like the scratchy type of plastic or cheap however the weight of it really gives it that feeling. So at the top here you're going to get a mic grill that doesn't feel like metal I think this is plastic and also four different buttons at the front here which includes the power, the mic volume as well as a mic button which also lets you cut off vocals from your Bluetooth audio without any special app which is pretty cool. And at the bottom here you're also going to get a type c charging port to charge up the mic so the high singing despite its big size as compared to many smaller earbuds or speakers out there comes with a surprisingly small battery capacity and the unit here supports only a playback time of five hours which is honestly very low for a speaker that seems to have plenty of room to squeeze in a bigger battery or higher capacity battery uh, fortunately volume on this speaker is pretty good and i get to a comfortable listening volume at only 25 percent and going upwards of 55% volume actually sounds very loud for a small room use but from my test going from 55% to 100% although it gets slightly louder it's actually a very small increment in the overall loudness and I would say that you get to about 80% of your volume already when you hit 55% so the range from 0 to 55% is very drastic and everything onwards don't feel like a big difference so feature wise this is honestly quite a bare bones speaker with really very little to offer in terms of fancy features but it does give you the basic for what sound Pete's position this speaker is to do. So to start off you're going to get a Bluetooth 5.1 chipset supporting the AAC or SBC codec. Uh, input wise as mentioned you get a micro SD card support along with the Bluetooth capabilities as well as a 3.5mm auxiliary input. So one thing here which is interesting is that you get a live karaoke audio effect so if you want to change your voice into four different styles including cartoon, funny, monster and classic it's not a very high quality effect if you ask me like I say I think this would probably entertain your kids more than you do and on top of that feature you also get a one click a vocal removal feature which is uh, very good for a karaoke machine but I do notice that sometimes it doesn't cut off very well and if you use Apple Music's own uh, vocal cancelling uh, feature I think that's a better feature to use uh, and honestly apart from that there's really nothing much else you can do with this 
speaker. And finally, in a very long time, this is one speaker that doesn't support the Soundpeats app and since most earbuds and headphones from Soundpeats all supports the Soundpeats app. So there are some things with this speaker that I honestly don't really like. So first of all is that super sensitive feedback and to be honest, you're not going to be using this speaker extra far away considering its size. So you will probably be using it on your desktop, admiring the panda inside the speaker. But every time you get somewhat close to it, you get a horrible feedback that is extremely unbearable. So second problem. So second problem that I don't like about this combo is the fact that there is always a reverb when using the mic. So I believe this may be due to the latency between the mic transmitting and the audio playback and there is no way for me to tune the reverb on the speaker so you will constantly hear yourself echoing uh, a couple of times even when just speaking so it's unnatural to sing with in my opinion. So the third problem that I have with this speaker is the fact that the mic picks up everything and what I mean by that is that if, if you press the buttons Funny sound and that gets amplified and played back to you. So perhaps a lack of padding or insulating materials or foam inside the mic itself that transmit everything like putting the mic down on the desk or tapping the sound or even just rubbing the mic. So all of those gets quite annoying when using this speaker. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the sound signature. And if you want good sound quality, turn off the mic because as soon as you turn on the mic, you get an audible static sound that you know kind of stains your audio a bit. And from a bass perspective, the passive radiator adds little to the overall sound signature. So there isn't much going on with the sub bass or the mid bass here. Essentially a very flat sounding speaker. The mid vocals here is good as I get quite a lot of clear and loud vocals coming through. I wouldn't say they are distortion free, but they are good enough for a small system. Them like that. And finally, the highs here is basic at best and you do hear the highs but it's pretty messy sometimes, it doesn't get reproduced very cleanly. So overall, that's the sound signature that you can expect from this small speaker. I got lost tonight Under the stars up in the sky Directions hard to find Under the stars up in the sky I got lost tonight Till the stars up in the sky Directions hard to find Until the stars up in the sky I don't wanna take this I don't wanna break this We're living in the moment We're living in the moment Your head is on my shoulder But we're getting older Baby, it's you and I Well, I know some of you will say this speaker is not a gaming speaker, so why are you testing the latency performance? But again, not everyone have dedicated speakers doing dedicated stuff, and some people just have one speaker to do it all. And from a gaming standpoint, testing it with PUBG, performance is okay, actually not too much lag, but you do notice the latency, and watching movies and videos on this is decent with no noticeable problems. So let's take a look at the latency performance of this speaker.
honestly, unlike the Edifier PK305 that got me really excited in using it as my karaoke machine with a proper microphone system. So you can also check out my review right up here on the PK305. Uh, the high singing here is honestly more of a toy than a real system you can use for singing or as a PA system. So for those thinking that this may be a cute device to up your PA game uh, to something wireless, I would say think again, but if you're getting this as a gift for your kids or teenagers to keep them occupied, then maybe something to consider. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. If you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.